So welcome in, and I will give you my official, well, semi-official, this is where we're at cleaning room tour. So this is a work in progress because I've been sewing this last week. I didn't just clean my room and then not sew in it. So this is all cleared out so then when I am done sewing, my machine can go on that little rack that the backpack's sitting on. And when I raise my cutting table all the way up, this can slide under. Actually, I don't even need to raise it all the way up because I can slide it under right now without the machine on it. And then my machine will sit there, the foot pedal, everything, so that'll tuck out of the way. And then I can use this for cutting and don't have to awkwardly lean over that. My ironing board, as you can see, a little peek at a quilt that's coming together. Um, underneath here, I've got my garbage can. Well, one of them, I have two. And then this right here is like my three yard grab bin. It's got all those big pieces that have come from my great aunt or uh, people that have sent me some good stuff. And so I have some plans where I know that those are to be used for three yard quilts and they'll get grabbed initially. My three yard quilt bucket here that I'm working through. This really didn't change. The only thing that changed is apparently I have another travel iron. And then we go over here and this is where a lot of the organization went. So we've got all the scrap colors in here so that I can really start working on my scrappiness is happiness project once I figure out what that's going to be. That I feel like that's going to come summertime. Like that's going to be like my hypothetical schools out, um, even though I'm not in school, uh, project. And then my design wall looks accessible. I can roll my chair around successfully. Another peek at a three yard quilt that's coming soon. And under here, we've got this box here on the, let's laugh up. This box here is all pre-cuts. And then this one here is all fat quarters, just like random fat quarters. This is like layer cakes, charm packs, jelly rolls, those kinds of things that didn't fit on the shelf. And then all of these in here are either specific projects that are going to happen like this one is my quiltmas bucket this one is like jelly rolls and specific fabric that all coordinate together and that is my plan for how i'm going to utilize those because i'm not going to need to get in there as consistently as if i was doing scrap projects my long arm is nice and accessible we took all of my rogue thread and just like tossed it in a bucket just so I know where it is and can sort and figure out what colors I have. My Kona is overflowing, so it's in here. And then the back, the back scrap stock is under here under my kitty cats because ugh, there's just so much of it and I need to figure out what I'm going to do with it. So that's probably going to be my first scrappiness projects. And then up here, some of my art stuff has found frames and homes and then my last spot are some of my boxes, so let me show you those real quick. So this box here is all big chunks that I either need to cut the batting off of or pick the batting off of so that I can use those in different ways. This one here is a home oh grunge. Like my grunge went from a little bin and it grew into this big box, so that's gonna be another scrappy project. And then the other stuff is in my closet, so let's see how Trixie on her way over. Hi Trixie. In here, so this is Still all my client quilts over here. And then these over here, my goal is I'm gonna go through these one minute at a time in front of the TV and go, okay, this is a keep, this is a toss, this is a donate, this is a use, these are what I have, how can I be scrappy? All sorts of that. So at least those, have, those haven't changed. Those have been there this whole time. Um, and I've already worked through a bunch of that scrap batting on some three yard quilts. So if I just keep Frankensteining, we're gonna eventually get rid of this big, broken space bag and I can work on the other stuff. So there's my little room tour and now let's see what else went on this week. Well it's guild meeting Saturday. So today we talked about different programs coming up. We did some block challenges where our groups had to make um, give a theme and then make a block from a scrap block to kind of collaborate and work together and that kind of thing. So that was kind of fun. Here's what one of our blocks looked like. So with that one, the theme was angles. Um, we also did one that was curves. I don't think I got a picture of that one. But also today, 
my person that pulled my name for the name tag swap isn't going to be there next month so she gave me my name tag today and it looks like this so bright colored kitty cats got my name on the bottom so now I can rear that next month and then I can I think I'm still going to make my own name tags so I can kind of rotate between the two and I still have to make my partner's name tag so it's a different person than the one that gave me my name and so I guess I'm going to start working on that and next month you'll see that one come together. So there's one last thing I forgot about from my guild meeting and it was somebody had just handed me instead of getting it off the free table this solid she says it's tilde um but it was a color that she's never going to use so I I feel like this is very green screen right here. My shirt matches my wall, which matches this fabric. So um, she gave this to me. That I, so I was like, that's perfect. I can use it in a three yard quilt. I can use it to back a three yard quilt. So this is going to go live in that three yard quilt bin under my ironing board. So then I have it as a quick grab for when I need one of those things, backing or piecing or binding or who knows what. So there's a little bit about my week this week and we'll We'll be back again soon for three yard quilts and more quilty fun.